Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownHouseLiving.com and today I'm so excited because I get to share with you one of my favorite ways to make coffee. And if you're a coffee lover like I am, you will definitely want to stay tuned. So what I have in front of me is the Coletti Coffee Percolator. And this is how we made coffee years ago before like electric coffee pots became um, really prevalent and widely used. And I remember as a kid, my mom making coffee out of a percolator very similar to this, and the coffee was always outstanding. So definitely check this out if you want to learn more. So it's very simple to use, and this is great not only for home use, but if you're a camper or an outdoorsman, you will definitely appreciate the Coletti 9 Cup Coffee Percolator. You can take this with you outdoors and easily make yourself a delicious, freshly brewed cup of java. So I'm going to show you how easy this is to use. And I just want to quickly go over what it looks like. So here's the actual coffee pot. And inside of it, you'll see this is a nine cup coffee maker. And there are some dots right there. So when you fill this up with water, you definitely do not want to go above those dots. And it guides you. It's very simple to use. Um, like I said, it's nine cups it makes. And this is the container where you place your coffee. And you just put the cap on it and fill this up with your water. Place it inside. Put it on the stove. And it's done. It's that simple. But I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to use. Now, Coletti also gives you filters to use as well. So you can place one of these filters inside the basket. And there are some people that like to do that while other people don't. Um, some people like to use this because it does absorb the oils in your coffee. And it's good for um, if you have high cholesterol or watching your cholesterol. But remember, when you remove the oils from the coffee, it does take away some of the richness of flavor and the depth of flavor that you would get. I personally don't use them. Also, the type of grounds that you use uh, will warrant whether or not you need a filter. So if you're using very finely ground coffee, you'll want to use a filter so the coffee does not pass through the holes in the basket. If you're using like a medium to coarsely ground coffee, you won't have to worry about that. But either way, they're here, and if you need more, you can always order them. So what I'm going to do is show you how easy it is to fill. Now, I love my Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Personally, I just find the taste and flavor incredibly delicious. And what I'm going to do is just fill up the basket now, you can grind your own coffee, of course, which I also love to do, but today we're going to be using pre-ground coffee, and it's one scoop per cup. Now, I put in about 10 because I like my coffee on the strong side, but again, you can, you know, make it whatever way you like. So if you like it mild, you can definitely make it milder or stronger. It's totally up to you. So all you do is you fill this up, you put the lid back on, and then you place this basket inside. Now, it's super easy. Of course, you want to add water in here. And what I'm going to do is add some filtered water. I like to use my zero water for that. I love my zero water. I use it for everything. That's the only thing we drink from in this house and what I'm going to do is fill this up you can use bottled water you can use your tap water whatever you want to use you can use obviously so I'll be right back after I fill this up so I filled up my coletti with water and again remember don't go above those holes that you see inside and all I'm going to do is place my coffee inside there close the lid and take it to the stove. Now, if you're using bottled water, it takes about two bottles to fill this. So if you're camping, um, that's a good thing to know. Or if you're home and you like to use bottled water, it only takes about two bottles. So let me head over to the stove and I'm gonna show you the rest. Now I have my Coletti on my stove top and I have about a medium to high flame. 
So I'm going to give it about nine to 10 minutes to start percolating. And then you'll see as it's percolating, the bubbling will start in the cap, in the glass cap, and you will see your coffee percolating. And you can make it as dark or as light as you like. Um, if you leave it on a little bit longer, I'm, I'm sure it'll taste richer. But again, that's completely up to you. And I'm just going to wait for it to brew. And then I'm going to enjoy a delicious cup of home percolated coffee. Now, a few things to note. When you touch this pot, make sure you have a pot holder or an oven mitt, something like that. Because even though the handle is wood, you definitely want to protect your hand from the heat. So always use a, 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 a pot holder or a, an oven mitt to protect your hands. So I will be back as soon as my delicious home fresh brewed coffee is ready to go. So we're halfway through our percolating stage and I wanted to just say a quick few things. So it comes with a card, your Coletti, and it just shows you step by step. Like I showed you, it's so super easy to brew. And again, it'll take about four to seven minutes to achieve your desired strength, but you can just keep an eye on it. And as you can see now, it's starting to percolate. You can see the bubbles coming through the glass top and you'll see it get darker and darker and darker as you're watching it. And you could just remove it um, at your desired strength. And what I like to do is just take it off the stove and I like to let it cool down a little bit and just let it settle. So if there are any grains, they'll just like float to the bottom. Um, but like I said, my, my coffee is typically not that fine, so it will not um, seep through the basket. But I like to let it sit for a, a minute or two before I pour it. And as you can see, it's getting more rapid and the color is starting to turn a brownish. So this should be ready in a minute or two, and I will come back and show you the final results. So my coffee is now done, and what I'm going to do with my pot holder is just remove it off of the hot burner and just let it quietly cool down for a minute or two. And now all I have to do is pour myself a delicious cup of home fresh brewed percolated coffee. Oh, it smells absolutely wonderful. And then I'm just going to place that back on my stove. And I like a little bit of cream, half and half, with my coffee. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that, give it a stir. And now I have an absolutely delicious cup of coffee and it smells incredible mmm and it's so hot and steamy oh my gosh you can never get this out of an electric pot it is so hot and steamy and absolutely rich full of flavor oh it's just like heaven in a cup and for folks that love coffee like we do you will really appreciate brewing coffee in this method. There's nothing like it. It's just delicious. And I can let my pot sit there and come back later. And if I want to reheat it, I can just turn the flame up on the stove and reheat it, you know, in its original method that we used instead of sticking it in the microwave, which absolutely destroys coffee flavor. So yes, this is just heaven. So enjoy check it out. I will have all the links for you in the description of this video to where you can pick one up for yourself. And I will also have a blog post on sassytownhouseliving.com. So I would really appreciate it if you head over there and check it out as well. And thank you so much. If you can give this video a thumbs up and click that notification bell so you can be aware every time we upload new content. I would greatly appreciate it. Please subscribe, subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a great and safe and delicious day.